All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Game Crew once again. We left at this little thing on Mario Brothers 3. I'm Maddie. That's T Dub, and we're now joined by uh, our good buddy, The Shades. Hello. There we go. Let the music fly. Desert land. <laughs> this shit getting out of here. Sorry, Dwayne and Brando in my head. <laughs> As always, <laughs> they got new songs out, so that that kind of helps the thing. Yeah. Let's get through this. And, uh... Oh yes, yeah, the desert world. <laughs> And you walked into the fake block already? Wow, that didn't take long. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Welcome to the Let's Play Curse. How are you? <laughs> well, at least you got the Koopa. Almost, almost, <laughs> almost did in there. <laughs> wow. I'm a little rusty at the retro. I've been playing uh, Mario Maker for the Wii U. By the way, yeah, I got a Wii U. And uh, when you're used to a set of controls, you gotta get yourself back into the uh, into the swing of things, so to speak. And uh, you would think that they they, they copy the the the, the uh, controls exactly. In some aspects, they do, except they don't. It's it's basically the same controls. As Mar as uh, the new Mario franchise, which is not bad, but there is a subtle, there is a significant, a significant yet subtle difference. Well, the thing is, all games share the same physics. It's just they yeah. have different mechanics. They're they're tuned yeah. they're tuned a little different. Is the way I would describe it. Just the tuning the tuning is a little different. That's all. It did, is. did you just kill that? Did you just kill that fire as Tanuki Mario? Yes, uh, yes, I did. I didn't know you could do that. That, that is why you fail. <laughs> Learn That's... something new every day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I didn't know about. I, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, fuck. When I found out about that, it blew, it blew my mind. Let's put it that way. I yeah. imagine. I... You see, this is why Maddie's the Mario guy, and I'm the uh, 3D guy, and Shades is the guy over there doing the crazy games. I'm the indie guy. <laughs> That's not waste too much. Huh? Usually, I would take the rest of the timer to get uh, those coins again, good uh, because they respawn. Oh God! Oh yeah. So you want some so, cheap coin? You want some uh, some coins? That's a good way to do it. Yeah, I guess so, you know if, if you're desperate for coins, uh, that's one way. Mm -hmm. I have to ask. This is this is on one of these areas. The evil sun's going to show up, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yep. This is World Two. This is the sun. The it's one of the two worlds up. that has the evil sun, and it's the bane of most Mario 3 players' existence. Oh, mine as well. Mine as well, for I, a long time. I cannot wait until they, until they add the evil sun as an enemy in Mario Maker. Ooh, that would be, be an excellent update, actually. That would be a great that, update. That'd be yeah, great they need to the add the sun as an enemy and, and some freaking slopes. Yeah, slopes... Slopage is definitely a thing, especially for the later games. But uh, I think they have to keep yeah, it because it's a limitation off the original Mario game, Mario yeah. One. So, plus the way they have the they have the designer and everything, I'm okay with no slopes. Three sixty no slope. <laughs> it's 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 it sucks. But I'm okay with it. I, I'm, I'm One thing like, I can say is that you're just blazing through these levels. Yeah, no kidding. You're you're doing about as good as I would, if not slightly better. Well, also great pun. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you'd notice. I caught on to it. Oh, well, I, I did too. But you you guys had to talk first. You know, I'm letting you guys talk first. You should say he's MLG Mario Luigi gamer. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the week of Evo, isn't it? That, well, I know, it's coming up, yeah. It is coming up uh, next week as of recording this. We're recording this. Uh, when are we recording this? It's. Uh, I have to look over July here. July 9th, I believe. 
Yeah, the July 9th, 2016, yes. The Knights of Barack Lesnar. Yeah, w w some of us are about to watch uh, Mark Cunt go through Suplex City, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we can tune in in time, because that's the semi-man event, so I hope I don't miss that. Well, they usually air at around 11 o'clock, so you and I are not going to miss that, for sure. So yeah, uh, Shades, if, if we're late for Tsunami, that's why. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I'm going to be missing out in a couple of weeks because of Metrocon. Yeah. Uh, which, by the yeah. way, as I'm as we're recording this, I just got the email from the uh, head of guest relations about my interview schedule. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, unfortunately, one of our interviews had to get lost, is already gone, not due to the con's fault, but because the guests had to cancel. Oh, uh, that's always the worst. Yeah, what's worse is who it is. Who is it? Scott McNeil. No! Wait, Scott, canceled? Scott canceled. But he what's had a good first? reason. According to the according to the MetroCon website, he canceled because he had, he apparently, uh, he got a gig. Wait, a gig where? It didn't save it because of a cast. Because of a casting, he had to back it out. Better be a pretty big one. Don't cancel on us for that. Not that I'll be there, unfortunately. <laughs> but nonetheless, that I can sucks. confirm that I've got interview. We've got interviews with Laura Post, Christina V, Eric Stewart, Richard Ian Cox, and Kirby Morrow, all scheduled. That's not a bad lineup, all things considered. No, it's not, not at a bad all. Lineup. That's not a good and, lineup. That's. And the then I got a. Then I gotta contact uh, Ollie Rue Cosplay so I can confirm their ske their interview schedule, so I can get them because they're separate. Now, so, uh, take care of a little so bit of I business and fill filling up uh, on hearts along the way and other stuff. So but how do you those... feel about these mini games in Mario Three? I love the match game because you can get a lot of good items that way, especially if you like memorize the patterns because oh, there yeah. are patterns to those and some people have mastered them, surprisingly. Mm. I hate the slot game. They have they have a version of that on the uh, on the Wii U uh, game. Uh, the Wii yeah, U shop. To the eShop. The eShop. Oh, yeah. fuck you, Nintendo. Fuck you. Push actually, no, I actually, out, yeah. eh, I don't play it, but you know. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned before, here it is. The desert level. There are two ways to do this. One, you kill one of the one of the uh, P wings that you have acquired, which I have done in the past, or you could get a little risky. Guess what I'm doing. <laughs> You're gonna take a chance. The trick here is to run and not get hit by the goddamn Koopa, you fuck. <laughs> Jump, and there that we go. Exactly. There's, there's the tornado right there. And this guy, this is nothing. All you gotta do is get up here and play skip rope with a fucker. Yep. Yeah. Or you don't hit it with a Koopa. Yeah. Hey. Suck. Ding dong, the sun is dead. Which old sun? That old sun. I have to ask you, if the sun's dead, and you just destroy the entire first ecosystem. Three matches cards. There you go. Actually, Maddie, there's a trick to that. Oh yeah. When it comes to those cards, if you are running at full speed, when you hit the hit the block, you it will always give you a star. Always. I know that. <laughs> Very easy way to rack up some extra oh, life. Yeah. I was not aware that if I ever play this game, I'll keep that in mind. Wow, Tito! <laughs> yeah, like I said, I am not the Mar 2D Mario guy at all. We can tell! Mm. Holy crap! Uh, your, your gamer card is coming into question right now, you realize this. <laughs> hey, I've played enough- I've at least- I've at least made it to, uh, I think like level 5 of the original Mario Brothers. That helps. That's a start. Ah, oh, nuts. No, let's play Curse right there. Actually, <laughs> I'm going to get back to that one. Let me go through this one first. You can pick whichever you want. It doesn't matter. It's, it leads to the pyramid no matter what, which you have to do. Ah, yes, the chain chomps. I got extremely lucky there. I don't know why, but there you go. <laughs> By the way, if anyone needs my 2D Mario credentials proven any further, 
I, for a good while, had the world record for Mar for Maddie's Mario Maker course. <laughs> the Excite Bike one, though. So there you go. That's not saying much. It's still something. Hey, it, it's a good. It was a good time. It was a really good one. It was. But I made the level, and there are tricks to that level. So. And I and I had to learn those tricks, and then somebody had to be an asshole and beat my time. Yeah. Which the way, now invalidates your credentials, so... Yeah. But my time was fast enough to beat someone else's time. <laughs> By a whole second. Here's what I need. Now you're gonna lose some coins. Don't worry about it. I knew it was out of time. <laughs> in case you're wondering, there's another one in case you lose it in there. And by the way, if you do lose it, you do lose a gaming card there, because it's kind of hard to... And, uh... Also, don't forget... Uh, actually, no, not here. It's the other one. It's a point. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> now we can go back to uh, number four over here. Because the trick to this level is the hard part is down here, the easy part, and the fun part, is up here. Ah! Da 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 da! Aha! Secret path. Yep. Now there are a few enemies, but they're not as frequent, believe me, under here there are Hammer Brothers, so... Or in, th in this in this er in this world, there are uh, there are more commonly known as Boomerang Brothers. So, and of course, what the fucking Koopas had to be a fucking Koopa. Boomerang, <laughs> Boomerang Brothers, mate. Throw some shrimp on the barbie. Do you Gonna want go to go back with my old kangaroo Sheila? You know, it is implied that this could technically be a world tour because let's be honest, one of the levels pretty much has Japan in it. That's true. Technically, we'll get to that later. Oh, yeah. You haven't seen a map of that. That's episode three right there. Also, god damn it. All that I effort. I had to get those coins, didn't you, Maddie? Your greed will be the death of you. It will, especially at World 6. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I can burn one of those mushrooms, uh, the, one of the mushies here, while kicking the ass of this motherfucker over here. Revenge is mine! <laughs> Brother Hammer! So what you're saying is it's hammer time. Damn right. Now this it hammer, you can you use it for the, for the next world, or you do what I'm gonna do. Or actually, so Maddie, you're good with two flutes right here, but if you're me... By the way, you're gonna... By the way, this level, this one mushroom right here, yeah, the frog suit. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I think we have awoken the lady. Where is he? No. Where is she? She's at work. <laughs> She's at work. Ah. And I'm gonna you burn it because I typically do not like the frog suit. It disagrees with me. There's only a few levels where the frog suit is is actually useful. If you can master it, which I've never been able to, so... I assume that most of those worlds are water ones? Yes. Because I think, really? it, gives, I think no. it gives you uh, better maneuverability in water, right? It does. It allows you to swim better in water. But and now there's the pyramid only like level... a couple of stages that even use it. Now, if you've never played the pyramid level, folks, fair warning. You are going to need to be very good at turtles... Or half the fe or half the leaf. Thankfully, I'm good at both. <laughs> yeah. So what you're saying is, Maddie, that you're turtle enough for their turtle club. Oh, really? Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. Do you want to date him? The fact that you made that joke and the fact that I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to, for, because this is Maddie's playthrough. I had to make a reference to his favorite Dana Carvey movie. Dave him. Dave him now before I die. Not a problem. Dave! 
The only surprise is that it took this long. <laughs> also, I think I have a concussion now. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad my physical pain is so amusing. <laughs> hey, you're t this is coming from the guy who gets a fact that they have a sketchbook every goddamn day. Trust me. I, I, I can share that. <laughs> I have earned the right to share that pain. This this playthrough is kicking my ass. I'm starting this... I'm starting an airship as little Mario. That's not good. Whew. Oh, Do you have any backup items? Well, you, I have leaves. You already activated a Starman. I have activated my Starman and I activated a leaf. And I actually don't have a leaf, but I want to keep him for later for obvious reasons. Uh, I'll never, never let it be said I don't shy away from a challenge. Yeah, because airships are tough. They are not easy. They're not. They're not Super Mario Brothers 2 Japan tough. Ooh, but but no. they'll give you a challenge. Oh yeah. Let's put it this way. God. And now comes the bullshit part of airships. I sincerely did not want to burn one of my leaves. But I have no choice. I need the hits. I need the yeah. I need the bullet bull the bullet bill hit insurance. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get through the level, man. Yeah. And these are the easier airship levels. They get tougher Whoa. later on. And again, that fucking bullet gut gets me. Jesus Christ, dude. Ah, I can only imagine. Jeez, can only imagine how much uh, speedrunners must, pra must practice these levels. The they thing are... about these levels, though, is that even if it, speedrunners are limited on these levels because it's an auto scroll, you yeah. have to go at its pace. Right. And the only best thing you can its do is pace. try to get in the pipe as soon as it pops up. That's it. Then speedrunners speed must hate these, these airship levels, then. Ah, uh, the red cheese. I hate these fuckers, but I can kill them easy. Look at it, look at it. Look yeah, it. they're not a big deal. The only problem is, is they're infinitely spawning. You can't truly kill them. They remind me of uh, certain enemies from the Mega Man games who pretty much do the same thing. Mm. Actually, I think you know what, you're what I'm talking about, right? I think so. Yeah, there are enemies that sort of, uh, like, they wear, like, hard hats, and they sometimes pop up and shoot at you. And goodbye, oh, yeah. Morton Cooper Jr. Well, that was the easiest part, the boss. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's the easiest part, just avoid his, uh, just avoid his, uh, his hits, and like, like I didn't, but like I said, that's why you burn the, uh, the, the leaf, my friend. That's why you get the extra hit, you know what I mean? That also being said, as we did, yeah, it's, it's extra damage. But as we look on to the king over there, that is not obviously King Ross, because he doesn't have a mustache. King we Ross look at what we have, and we have a jugging cloud, and well, folks, this is one of the two clouds you're going to need in World 8. But that is it for now. We shall return with World 3 as we go to the beach. How appropriate. It's summertime.